first, copy this link, paste it in here, click on run, and you've got lean data in just five minutes. Put that into ChatGPT, and we've got the most valuable thing of them all, graphs. So in a minute, I'll show you how to scrape almost any website, turn that data into a beautiful CSV file and get quality insights from that data. Even if you've never scraped before without any technical experience, anybody can do this. And by the end of this video, I'll show you some valuable ChatGPT prompts to analyze your data to get valuable insights. But first, why use web scraping? Well, imagine that you're an e-commerce owner and you have hundreds, if not thousands of people that sell the exact same product as you. With good web scraping technology, you can check their price and you can check if they have available stock. And for example, if they're out of stock, you can bump up the prices. Or if you check their price, you can undercut their price, which gives you a competitive advantage. Just imagine how much more you would make then. Before, this used to be very hard to do with a lot of HTML code that you had to parse through to get the valuable data. But now, since we have good tools that do this, you can do it very easily. And that's what I'm gonna show you now, step by step, so you can get the most valuable data and the insights from it really quickly. So step number one is to go to site.com. They're happening to be sponsoring this video so I can go in depth and show it to you step by step. They're one of the easiest and best web scrapers I've found. All you need to do is click on this button, try for free. Now that you're on the inside, I wanna show you how to create a new project and scrape a website. And I've done this many times before to show you a wide variety of sites that you could scrape. But all you need to do is click on create project. Then you just name the project. So let's name it e-bike Amazon. And then I'm gonna click on sites AI powered spiders. This is a no code solution for web scraping. And you can also deploy your own web scraping code to the cloud. I haven't used this before, so I'll go to the AI spider. Then I'll click on create project. And the reason you wanna have something like this is because if you go out there and try to scrape on your own, what you run into is you're a bot, captchas and things like that. And the way that these websites go around that is that they go to the exact same website through many different IPs that looks like just hundreds of people going to the website and there's no suspicious activity. To continue, we'll just click on e-commerce and here I can name it whatever I want. I'll do e-bikes Amazon and then I'll find the website that I want to scrape. So let's go to Amazon. <laughs> As you can see, enter the characters. This is why we use web scraping. I'll search for e-bikes. As you can see, we have a bunch of different e-bikes and e-bike related gear. I'll actually say electric bike. And then I'm gonna copy this link, go back into site again, paste the link, and then we could do geolocation. So if it matters where you want to scrape from, basically the browser is located in this country. We'll do United States. They say that this geolocation has a higher price. So they recommend you to run a sample before scaling scaling up the volume, we can put the max requests at 1000, 10,000. And that will just dictate how long it will take to actually get all the results. But I did like a 1000 before and it took about 30 minutes or so. So it depends on what you want to do. I'll leave it at 100 for this example, then we have extraction source, I'll leave that at default. And then we have a crawl strategy. Full allows you to follow most links within the domain of URL in an attempt to discover and extract as many products as possible. As you can see for Amazon, this is very easy because it will go all the way to the bottom, extract all the links and data from these, and then it will click on the next page and then it will start extracting the data from this page here as well. If you would have a different link from a different website, there may be times where you should use the navigation or pagiation only to extract the data more easily. I'll keep it at full. It worked for the previous example. Now all we do is just click on save and run. And just like that, you're a web scraping expert almost until we go to the next step. Take a look at the data. As you can see, it's already started its runtime 
And in a minute, you'll see items and requests start popping up here. But I already did this before. Call me the Gordon Ramsay of AI. I already baked the cake before I started filming the video. So I scraped three websites before I filmed this video. One of them being Zillow.com, searching for Manhattan, New York, and say you're a real estate agent and you don't want to sit here, scroll on Zillow for hours, you can get very clean data. The second website I scraped was from Fjellre which is one of my favorite outdoor clothing brands. And this is more for people that want to scrape Shopify stores or e-commerce stores that aren't Amazon.com, just to show you how that works. And lastly, I showed you Amazon. So let me show you how the data looks like. As you can see from before, what I did was e-bikes on Amazon with 400 requests, and that took about 19 minutes, which is pretty crazy when you see how much data we actually got. I'll just click on the items here, and as you can see, this is the data that you're left with. You'll get the availability, the brand, the breadcrumbs from the URL, you get the color, the currency, the entire description, as well as it in HTML, the features, including all the images, 999.99, size, style, and the URL. And of course, you didn't just get one item, we got like 217 items and you might be thinking, hey, this data looks cool and all, how am I going to use all of this? Well. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. Then I'm gonna show you how the data from Fjellreven looks like. So here we got 89 items. Let me show you a clean one. Here we got a classic cap in G1000, ventilation holes and adjustment at the back, small leather Fjellreven logo in the front. And if you're wondering, oh, what type of colors do they have? You just start scrolling down and you can see all the different colors they have, including the sizes and the price to just give you a taste of what it looks like here. With websites like Zillow, you get the description for beds, two bath, the square footage. You even get the price here as well as the street name. So you can see how this is very valuable without having to look through this manually or God forbid, write all of this down manually or copy pasting data entry. But this data is not as valuable as when we enter step number three, analyze it with ChatGPT. The beautiful thing with site as a whole is that you can just click in the top download and here you get CSV, JSON or XML. I'll do the CSV file. And now all I need to do is just, for example, let's do the e-bikes data, drag it into ChatGPT. And why it's important to do data analysis with ChatGPT is to get insights from the data. As you may have seen, it's a lot of data that you might not be able to look through yourself, checking all the individual boxes. And with ChatGPT, you can easily ask questions about the data. It can read all the data effortlessly and give you the insights that you need, like what's in stock, what's the pricing, what are the most popular colors or give you reviews. So I'll give you some prompts right now. One of the favorite overarching data analysis prompts is act as an expert data analyst and give me graphs that can help me analyze this data set. Right away, you can see that it opens in sort of an XL clone or if you like to look at tables, here you go. It's really cool how they have added this into ChatGPT now. And then it will start writing that some potential graph we could generate is brand distribution, price distribution, rating, availability, price, and so forth. And then it will start analyzing and doing the job for you. First, it started by cleaning and structuring the relevant field. And then it says, let's proceed with creating these visualizations where it starts with brand distribution of electric bikes, price distribution of electric bikes, rating distribution of electric bikes, a pie chart of availability where it's 100% in stock, as well as a scatter plot of price versus rating. This could easily help you hone down on what type of electric bikes you want to sell in your store even. So we're already getting a lot of insightful data and the roads that we can take down this is endless. Who needs video games when you got this? Honey, honey, no vacation. I wanna sit at home and look at graphs. 
All right, please make a graph of the top 50 most expensive e-bikes above four stars. And here we got the data, but it doesn't look so clean. So I'll just prompt it a little more. This looks a lot better, even though it's not 50. You can see the most expensive is the Freego X2. Let's only ask it for highest rated. And this is the graph that we get. Sometimes you can ask it to give you a smaller font and it will be easier to read. But yeah, all of these to the right are five stars and if you're not a graph person but i mean who you're kidding you could also ask it to write it out in words and here you'll get it as well as you can see number one this has the highest rating with a number of ratings two five to eighteen so this one seems like the highest rated with a lot of ratings as well as you can see giving you very valuable insights in just a couple of minutes. But let's take a look at the other data set here from Fjellraven. Can you sort all these items by price and show me a graph with price and name? And out of the entire data set, you can see the high cost hydratic trail jacket men is the most expensive, a little bit above $250. Again, we can ask it for, can you make the font size smaller? And now you can read it a little bit easier, but let's see if we can ask it for the most popular product on the website based on reviews. It will analyze the review count and rating from the data set. And it said that the product Konken received 103 reviews with an average out of 4.2 and the product price is 90 bucks. Let's ask it for a link and we got the link as well. And here we are on the page. Yeah, I've seen this. It was very fashionable this year. Super popular backpack for everyday use, school and things like that. And look at all the colors they got. So you now seen us go from a single URL to extract that data to get valuable insights that you can use for your business. And if you want to get started today, click and get access to site in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you like this one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.